Hi, and welcome to this week's GMBN Tech Show. Coming up on the show this week, we are talking Christmas. Christmas, Christmas gifts for your MTB friends. The stuff you want to receive for Christmas. Yeah, or for your biggest loved one, your bike. Aww. <laughs> Okay, so straight into the show this week, we're not doing news this week, we are talking stocking fillers. We're talking the stuff you want to get for Christmas. And we're going to kick it off with a really affordable sort of five to ten quid sort of category, because there's loads of great stuff, and I'm going to jump in first if you don't mind me something. Do it. Mud guards. Well, it's winter, thing. isn't it? They're an essential for anyone who rides in conditions where it's going to be muddy, and you can have our logo on it as well. Yeah, although if you're buying a gift for someone else, what about some coloured valves, or just some new valves? I mean, these things gunk up all the time, don't they, if you're using sealant? Um, but it's a nice little bit of bike jewellery, isn't it, I think? Yeah, absolutely. Um, a bottle top cap. Now this might not be something for someone who lives in nice sunny California, but if you're in the UK and you get mud and sheep eggs and all that sort of stuff <laughs> in, the, in the top of your bottle, these things are wicked and that's a great stocking filler. Yeah, and on the topic of bike jewellery, if your partner or your friend's well into customising colours on their bike, why not things like little jockey wheels? Because you can get coloured ones from, say, Hope, for example, and I even found some jockey wheel magnets on Etsy. Would you believe it? Oh, I would. Etsy is like the rabbit hole of gifts. Yeah, bike-related yeah. gifts. If you're stuck, go on Etsy and just type in bike stuff. <laughs> You're going to spend a lot of money. Um, uh, before, do you have any socks, actually? Our Christmas yeah. socks are really cool this year. I'm actually well into these. Look at that. Snowy, tree-lined, GMBN socks. Oh, That's more your ones. bag. I like it? the red ones. They're a little, little yeah. reindeer on there, the little bikes. 9 yeah, 99 And you know, we're actually doing bundles with these uh, little enamel mugs as well. I mean, are you even bike packing if you don't have an enamel mug on your bike? Rumour has it, Father Christmas <laughs> likes to drink whiskey from one of those. <laughs> if you leave it on the doorstep, he's a very happy man. I made a loud noise. Anyway, we've got a 10 to 50 category as Gifts well. Gifts are ramping we? up a bit. I know, but this is the good stuff. Yeah, what this we started really for, good stuff. Like, there's so many things here. Okay, well it's winter and everyone's getting scarves and jumpers, so a mountain bike equivalent has surely got to be the old neck warmer. Like, I've got the original buff here I've had for about 10 years. This thing's like a neck, walk, neck warmer, face coverer, you can like spin it round and turn it into a hat, do you know that? And like you do loads of stuff. You can someone make a with ski an abnormally mask long neck, I should have well. looked at these before. Yeah, maybe. Can then... tools now? Oh, okay. But just merino as well for the extra fancy version. I guess, I should protect my <laughs> neck. Anyway, we want to talk about tools, don't we? Yeah, uh, there's loads of novelty tools out there, bottle openers, Parker got the famous pizza, pizza cutter cut. tool. It's not Christmas if you don't get one of those, um, but I've got a very cool And the Nipex very cool bottle tool. opener. <gasps> Anna. Daddy. Will, will, will you? Take something from my bauble. <gasps> You've made me the happiest <laughs> girl. <laughs> these oh, are look awesome. At this. So Knipex have got one of these baubles for Christmas tree. Oh. Perfect for the tool lover out there. And they've got a little mini Cobra XS in them. They're about 28 in... quid. That's awesome for your Christmas tree. It comes in black. That's so pretty. Yeah, cool, I want everything in black. That's an awesome now. little thing to stick in your trail tool pack <laughs> as well. Uh, what else we got? We've got loads of things. Um, yeah. Epic Bleed Solutions do all sorts of different brake fluid. They do dot, they do mineral, they do all sorts of different sizes. And they do bleed kits of all kinds. Um, I would say this is definitely something you want to get bought for Christmas. Uh, it's one of those things you don't ever actually want to go out and buy, but you kind of need them. So uh, it's a great stocking for yeah, that Yeah, especially one. if you're bodging it, it'd be nice to get a proper, get the proper, proper kit. kit for 20 yeah. to 40 quid. Also, why not a valve gauge? So I never used these, never thought I used, needed one before I had one, and then when I had one, I used it all the time. So this is definitely one of those things you'd like to receive, but probably wouldn't spend money on, I reckon, for most yeah, mountain bikers. Yeah, I get it. It's, so but I like you say, now you've gift. got it, you won't stop using no, it. No, absolutely, it's, I love it's it. It's free traction. It's absolutely the best form of it. getting free grip on a bike. Um, what else we've got? Filtration system. Now this one's an interesting thing. I, I never thought I'd be interested in having one of these until you told me a bit about some of yeah. the stuff it can do. So this one's from Life Straw. It's a combination of Camelback. So this clips between your reservoir and your hose on your existing Camelback. And it pretty much means you could drink dish, dish water? Dish well, water you, you can could. pull it out or of a stream, water, basically. Or a stream. Yeah, because you don't want to be drinking straight out of a stream, especially if you're near any like livestock or like forestry work. So yeah. this will filter out bacteria um, and it takes out the taste and the chlorine as well. So uh, Does yeah. Does that mean you, you could can drink, drink wee? Possibly. I feel a video coming on. <laughs> I'm up for a challenge. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. <laughs> How about some bike artwork for your workshop? I and mean, we've got loads of this kicking around, haven't yeah. we? We've got this one, a map of Lenzerheide. Trail maps, they're awesome. And then 
Dirt Shed Show have got their sort of famous helmets as well, which yeah. I really like that. Bike Ninja have got their retro calendar, they do this every year. And in February actually, I had a quick look for the calendar earlier, and it's got the Manitou EFCs on it, on this lovely hardtail edition here. Uh, if I'd have known about this bike, I probably would have tried to go and see it before I did the Manitou build, <laughs> just to see the forks in the flesh. Uh, but very cool, great stuff from Bike yeah. Ninja there. Are they doing these clocks as well? They, yeah, they them? are. Yeah, they've got a disc drive, they've got the Shimano XT1, there's a disc drive pro. Uh, just they're wicked, take little AA batteries, great for your workshop. Yeah, and what about some more bike jewellery? Like you gave me my early Christmas present, didn't you? With the yeah. Bentley top cap. I mean, oh, those things amazing. are so cool. Yeah. I got the gravel cut. <laughs> but I also noticed on their website, they're now doing a Christmas version. Uh, well, I think it's Christmas. It says, yippee ki yay, mother That's the, it's the most Christmassy <laughs> film of all time, isn't it? Obviously, Die Hard. Die Hard. Yeah, yeah. Christmas film, everyone knows that. Yeah, it's that. awesome. Um, <laughs> we should probably say the Rafa book as well, actually. The Off-Road oh, yeah. Heroes. Um, I've got one of those for your post, I guess you've got one as well. I know, I just love the way it's sort of bound together so it's a flat lay. Yeah. And it's just a beautiful piece of artwork and obviously literature, just really well written. Yeah, about a lot of people that you really should know about and there'll be loads of stuff in there about people you know about that you didn't know no. as well. So that's a great book for exactly. Christmas. Exactly. Okay then, and the last category we're going to jump into is 50 quid plus. Oh, big bucks now. What are we starting with here then? This is like money, no object. I'm absolutely loving the muck off changing robe at the moment. Oh, Other yeah. brands are available. You can get a robe or a dry robe. And, yeah, yeah. Like that, but I use that for cyclocross race at the weekend. And honestly, that was just like, yeah. I mean, I, I get changed and get into a van, which I can't stand up in properly. So They're really good for taking recycling out when you're nude as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Neighbours don't look at you funny. Um, I would have brought mine in actually, but I've got a like, tyre sealant and all stuff. It's yeah. just me all round coat now. Yeah, and yeah. also the, another thing that I was using at the weekend, which I absolutely love, is the Works pressure washer because it's oh, battery classic. powered. Yeah, those and things you are just, amazing. You, you can stick it in. Do you know you can stick it in a river if you yep. want to? And yeah, just, with like, a little filter on, on the pipe. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, brilliant things. Absolutely love that. Or how about like proper lights? I mean, this is big bucks. Um, I will admit, this is the Exposure Six Pack, but. Oh my days, this is the most powerful light on the market, I think. And it's just, it changes the game if you want to go out in the evenings mountain biking. And I've got um, a joystick on the helmet as well. So okay. you can buy smaller ones. And yeah, I can feel people sort of questioning the price of products like this, but I've only ever used exposure lights for like the last decade, I think. And one of the things about this company is once you've bought a light from them, they're going to keep you on that light indefinitely. Uh, yeah. We made a video, we went to see them and how they manufacture stuff and they were still fixing lights that people have had for you know 20 years or so. They want to fix it and get you back on the trail on your existing light. They don't really want to keep selling you a new light. Um, it's a company you, you buy into the product so please check the video out, it's going to be floating around. Yeah, I there. mean you don't have to buy the six pack, this is more for like 24 hour races. I would yeah. say this is over 5,000 lumens. Uh, bear in mind that car <laughs> lights are 1,500 so uh, you don't have to go that crazy. Uh, also, tool, should we get back on the tools? Yeah. So, um, Wolf Tooth, this isn't one of theirs, but we've looked at Wolf Tooth's um, yeah, the Magura one tools recently. before. Yeah. Now you can start custom etching these, so you can not just get your name written on it, oh, like you can get like patterns, drawings, all sorts, and then get the sort of little bolt custom oh, as well. Tidy. And these things, not only are they so nice to use, they're like a workshop fidget spinner as well. Yeah, can't, I I can't stop it's the noise, it. isn't it? The ching, ching, ching. It's just a quality bit okay, of now kit. This, this makes me curious. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> that is my Theragun. So this is a Theragun Mini. And honestly, if you get that super pumped feeling after a race or a hard ride where you get like full of lactic acid, this sorts you out straight away. It just like pulls all of those toxins out your legs and you know, gets you recovering a lot quicker. It's also really good on the neck as well. Like, hold on, get it out of there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, bike to bike tools, uh, EDC components, uh, sorry, uh, the one-up components did EDC. Uh, this is their new light version. So it has a bolt at the bottom to basically compress your steering system there. So take up the slack in the head tube. You've got the tool that fits in the top. They do them in Yeti blue, they do purple, they do black, they do red, they do loads of colours. Uh, but they're cheaper and they're less hassle, less, less featured than the <laughs> fully featured ones. Uh, but these are great, I think they're about 35 to 40 quid, something like that. Um, yeah. Not quite in this category, but they're really good. They also do nice chain guides. Um, again, you can choose the colour of the upper guide. They come with a spare tacker at the bottom. So as you know, if you're running one of these, you're doing it to protect your chain ring. And when you smash that, you're going to need a new one. And um, there's also, in the same category here, almost a very similar product actually. Nootproof do the same thing that comes with a spare taco in the actual packet. Mm. And that's part of their silver range. There's loads of great stuff in there. 
think it's a stem floating around, isn't there, somewhere? There might be. Yeah, There's yeah. a nuke proof, yeah, from silver the silver cup. collection. Yeah. Oh, I'm loving the silver collection. Yeah, really it classy matches stuff. matches the decals on the black bikes. Um, but obviously, we're going to have to do a little bit of a shop plug, aren't oh, 100%. we? 100%. Because this is what supports the channel. This is how you get free content. Don't forget that. Um, and we've got our very own that's Christmas our, jumper. That's our Christmas one this year. It's quite cool, isn't it? <laughs> have a super nice Christmas. Yeah, it's not too Christmassy. Keep on wearing that one. I yeah, love it. and we've got tons of beanies as well. So if you're into hats, then we've got those. Obviously, we've got the socks. What else? We've got these flasks as well, which, I mean, if that doesn't They're genuinely say winter, really good, yeah. They are nice. really good. So comments from you lovely people and we asked you, is there such thing as a winter bike? And we debated it and uh, well, let's start off with David Walker. He said, yep, I use my summer bike. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a no then. Yep, uh, Mark Davis says winter bike, no, lower tire pressure. Get out there, I use hardtail. Yeah, so maybe it does have a winter hardtail. But anyway, it's got a tire gauge. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Neil Lowe says, single speed rigid 29er for me. Ultra low maintenance for those times where I don't have time to clean it properly after a ride. Uh, I get a proper workout on a shortish ride. It's a cheap buy, cheap parts, very little to go wrong. I like that. Single speed rigid, that's a great idea. Yeah, I feel like that's like the least tech bike you could possibly build. You wouldn't even bother washing it, would you? What's no, I, mean, I, I, I agree, I think it's a great idea, but I'm not really sure we could do much with it on the tech channel. It's like anti-tech. <laughs> Um, Nicholas says, um, Swarby, I spike a Pro 29 Oof. under the bike, and of course, a load of different clothes and winter chain loop. Oof, you have to live in That's a place a where you need ice, ice rider. spike. Yikes. Fair play, yeah. Um, non legit Nation 2 says, I ride year long and I live in Wisconsin. Uh, so far, we haven't gotten any snow, but when we do get snow, I'm going to switch out all of my good components with cheap ones. We didn't think about that, did we? Just swapping the components rather than buying just a cheap no, other bike. No, but someone the other day, it might have been Rich or Chris, someone said that they had someone upgraded a bike, but they didn't, but basically as soon as they got their bike, I think it had like NX on it or something like that, mm. they got better componentry and they just kept that stuff. When it got to winter, they put that stuff yeah. back on and kept whatever it was upgraded for ah. spring. Oh, that's like, actually, a good that's idea. quite a good so idea. You don't wear it down. It's yet. a lot of moving stuff around, but it's a really smart idea. Yeah, cheap parts aren't just exactly cheaper to replace, but they wear better, yeah. don't they? Because they're made of like harder materials. Made often. of lead and stuff. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, Mikkel Oja says, um, "Yeah, I am in northern Sweden, so we also got some nice icy roads." I have my MTB in pieces though, and the gravel bike is hooked up to the trainer for Zwift set, uh, sweat sessions. So yeah, gravel bike, but indoors. You know Fair I, play. I admire anyone that can commit to things like Zwift. It's, like, it's an amazing program. I just couldn't do it. I can't I, do I it. I needed to be outside, but I think it's, I mean, obviously if your conditions don't allow it. Mikhail, you're a stronger man than yeah. I am. Will Lange says, full suspension with gearbox and belt drive. Nice. And that's my sort of winter bike. Yeah. Uh, and I put my fat bike on the rack. Yeah, so does that mean the fat bike is his summer bike? That's, I don't know. Wowzers. Well, just... Maybe. Gearbox and belt drive though. That's yeah. something to have That's a, a banger. toy with. Uh, Royal 3 says, I love winter biking. Here in Alberta, Canada, I go with a hardtail and run my normal MTB tires at half of their maximum pressure. For me, the wider tires give more coverage on the road, snow and icy conditions. Some of the trails are better maintained than others, so naturally I stick with them more frequently. Fair play in Alberta as well. Oof. And finally, Guitar Lessons Now says here in MN, wherever MN is, mm. uh, studded tyres are a must. My current winter beater is a Schwinn boundary. Tyres cost almost as much as the bike, but it keeps me rolling through the ice and packed snow. So I, I really don't envy anyone that has to ride in conditions like that. I mean, as much as it sounds real good fun, if you've got to do it all the time, it must be pretty horrible. Yeah, I know. But I'm absolutely loving people commenting and telling us where they're from as well, because we don't know where you're watching from. So more of that in the future. Let us know where you're riding when you comment. 
Right, it's time for Christmas top mods or top Christmas Festive mods. Ones. So I've like rifled through our uploader and I found this Christmas wreath. Check this out. Okay. It's made out of an old bicycle. Um, and he's just sort of decked it out with some ribbon and some baubles. And I just think, I actually, I wouldn't even notice that that was a, a bit of old tat. Do you know honest. what? That's ace. I think that's so good. Probably a lot easier to hang than most wreaths as well. Yeah, thanks Nicholas for sending that in. I think his sister made it for him, but I think that's an absolute banger. Great present. Yeah, and then over, this is a medium, like an easy level mod, and that is wrapping your downhill bike in tinsel. I mean, we've all done it, haven't we, at Christmas? Let's I'd be wrap honest. mine up in, in wrapping paper, went for a winter ride, and it's great to have to clean it just to the paper <laughs> afterwards since I laminated that, my bike. That's a top Christmas hack, that is. It is, I wish surely. I would have thought of it. I hadn't thought of it until. <laughs> so I'll dig Chris, out a picture sometime. Yeah, so Chris has sent this in um, from New Zealand. So obviously it's sunny there, but he still made the effort to dress up like Santa and go for a shred. Check these guys out doing their little jumps. And then his mates there in an elf costume. <laughs> it must be a totally different ball game having uh, Christmas in the summer. I know, Can you imagine make, that? That picture didn't I make sense to me then until I saw so, 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 so the costume. Yeah, so he's an elf. They're all tinsel up. <laughs> um, and then I've got another one who is another wheel hack, actually. Uh, this guy has improved during lockdown. He couldn't go out and get himself a tree, so he made one out of a bike and some what lights and some old cables. <laughs> yeah, some garden cable. Um, I just think no this way. is brilliant. No way, using a wheel at the bottom. Yeah, so it's kind of like a little weight, yeah. and then the garden wire goes all, th all the way to the top. He's wrapped it in green tinsel, and now what, it's a tree. What a great idea. It's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I saw that. That's so good. Um, and then one final one. I mean, this is this is one to do with your kids for sure. Is to get some bike reflectors and turn them into decorations, basically. Yeah. Like a little star or a decoration for your tree, or hang them on the wall. Nice. Bit of ribbon, and yeah. then when you're done with it, take them off and put them back on your bike. Put them back on the bike. Yeah, that's from oh, that's uh, really Louisa. And nice. I like it. In Vienna. The, huh. Yeah, top Christmas mods there. If you've got any Christmas mods, send them in now. We want to see them. I've certainly made some Christmas deco tree decorations out of old chains. I'm sure you have as well. I did loads there on the last Christmas tree in a tech set that mm. someone stole. <gasps> I don't know if it was GTN or GCN or GCN Tech, but someone stole the tech Christmas tree with the, the chain Christmas. stars on there and all the other stuff. The audacity remember. Grinches. Yeah, I will hunt them down. Yeah, but our uploader is down in the description and the link is on the screen. Do send us your top Christmas hacks or top Christmas mods as we'd like to share them over the Christmas period. There we go, it's probably the end of this show, isn't it? There's enough Christmas festivities there going I on. I think it is. I'm actually really excited now. <laughs> yeah, what are, you, what are you looking forward to about Christmas in a festive period? I mean, other than having a week off and just riding my bike every day, I'm actually really looking forward to the Dirt Shed Christmas special. That's actually, actually going to be good. Actually, yeah. because we're going to go out on the bikes, it's not just going to be in the shed. Should I have t said that? I don't know if I'm... No, nah, that's you fine. you got to watch. Anyway, Christmas yeah. special. You say you're looking forward to it now, but uh, wait till you see your costume. <gasps> oh, it's a surprise, <laughs> isn't it? I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, I, I love this time of year. I get to see a lot of family and friends I don't get to catch up with that much. Um, I've got my annual bike ride with uh, close friends coming yeah. up. Spend the whole day out there, yeah. Bit of a pub crawl. These are all your riding, cockney buddies from London. Yeah, some of them. Yeah. yeah, and some others. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Nice. Oh yeah. well, well, let us know what you guys are doing in the comments below, and hopefully we'll see you again next week. Bye. See you later.